Well, when I started working here, and he, of course, is a fixture at the recording studio, so everybody gets to know Ray when you work here. What did you think of him when you first saw uh, him? He's a character. Now, have you ever monitored Ray? Oh, yeah, many times, yeah. Um, always interesting. Um, you, you learn pretty quickly that he's uh, uh, very opinionated about what corrections need to be done and what you you know are just a waste of his time and he used to he used to say I don't do thes or ands and they they put me working with Ray a lot to train me and I was I have to say I was terrified of him when I first started working here Ray was very fierce and had a real um, kind of forbidding demeanor but he was a very good teacher. Um, I was brought in gently <laughs> with Pat Obrimsky and uh, Laura Generelli and uh, some of the other people. And uh, Ray was my final exam. When I'd first gotten to know Ray, he told this story of how he was in New York during the Stonewall riots. And he was actually at the Stonewall Inn when the police raided and um, he was telling this great story of how funny it was because even though it was so desperate and people were in danger and you know the police came rushing in and they had gloves on because they were afraid of the gay people and uh, Ray said that the drag queen started chanting your gloves don't match your shoes your gloves don't match your shoes and they were just chasing the cops out of the Stonewall Inn yelling your gloves don't match your shoes um. I found him, you know, very nice, very, um, well, you know, Ray, he could scare you. He was a, nice but scary. 